shit. What is up everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you how you go about getting Beta Flight 4.3 on your quadcopter. So first off, you're going to want to get to this link right here, which I will also put in the description. This will get you your latest Beta Flight configurator because in order to run 4.3, you need 10.8.0. And currently the latest one is a uh, release candidate three. And they say right here you're going to want RC3 or better. So once you're on this page, you go down to here on assets and you find the file that you need. And they, uh, in the descriptions, they tell you, you know, if you need help figuring that out. But uh, I recommend uninstalling the original beta flight if you already haven't done that. And then installing the new release candidate. So I already went ahead and installed that, so it's already on here. Now once you have the new configurator installed, just like anything else, you're going to want to connect your drone. And I already have 4.3 on this quadcopter, but I will show you how to go about getting the firmware for 4.3. So you see I'm connected right up here. You find your COM port. And you're going to want to hit update firmware. And the best part about this new configurator is you no longer have to figure out the board that you have. You can just hit auto detect. And that'll bring this up. And you're going to want to go into release and release candidates to find 4.3. So make sure that you got that enabled. And then down here, you want the latest release candidate 3. It's the latest and greatest. Bolt chip erase. Leave everything else the same. And you're going to load that firmware online. And once it's loaded, you're going to hit flash. And you're going to want to connect. And there will be a box that pops up here. You're going to want to apply all custom defaults before you set everything else up. And I've already got the privilege of test flying this so far with the defaults, default filters, default tune, and it flew pretty good. But I did try out a preset, the Superfly FBB Freestyle 5 inch, with uh, some filter tunes also. So I'm going to be testing that out today and see how that flies. So in order to get a tune, which I recommend you fly on the defaults before you do anything else, see how you like it on there. And make sure you set up your rates and all that. I'm not going to get super in-depth with this. There's a lot of videos out there right now. You could check out Joshua Bardwell's video, UAB Tech. There's a bunch of them. But to get these tunes, like this one I'm flying, they give you the option. It's 4S all the way up to 6S with an HD cam or without 1750 to 1950. So what you would do is just pick the option that you want. Hit pick, and then save and reboot, and it'll configure it all onto your quadcopter. And that's it. So let's take this out to the field and see how it flies. Alright, so here we go on the flight test of Beta Flight 4.3, and this is also the quad that has Blue J firmware on the BL Heli S ESCs.
crop wash check. Not bad. Sounds good too. get a break in the weather even though it's still pretty cold but this is definitely doable overall it feels really nice it's got some Pretty decent hang time too. And this is the Superfly tune for 5 inch success. Maybe if I was a better pilot, it'd be a little bit more interesting. But kind of just cruising around doing some flips here and there. Really don't feel like crashing this one in the snow yet, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. I don't see any jitters in the video though either. I think this firmware is a keeper. All in all, I think that Betaflight 4.3 feels awesome. I would definitely recommend giving that a shot. Uh, if you're wondering, the frame that I'm using is the TPS Source 1 V3, and this is the Sussex, Sussex, I don't know how they pronounce it, F405 uh, by iFlight. This is the stack that comes in the uh, original Nazgul. So I've had, I've had this stack for a long time. Looks like really, really good. Uh, 1300 milliamp hour battery, and these are the 1950 kV Eco 2s by Emacs. I will put all this stuff in the description if you're interested in that. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you have a good rest of the day and happy flying.